What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Great War mod by Wolferos. Last episode, we were trying to break through there on the Serbian border as well as the Italian border. And we're also kicking off this kicking out this little invasion that we've experienced and down here. I've got 10 divisions overkill, right? Going in to help fight against those Italian divisions there. So after they finish kicking him out, we're showing at a 94 there now. Uh, we're going to take those 10 divisions, and I think I may split them up and add a couple more up here to the French line that we're seeing. And maybe even down here in Serbia as well. Let's see, we've got pink group going and executing. We have, wait, do we have pink group executing? Yes, they are. Yellow group is also executing as well with just 10 divisions there. Oh, I could just add them to yellow group here just to try to help break through on Montenegro there. Oh, nice. We actually finished the Fighter 1 research as well. So I'm going to add these 10 guys here to yellow group. So now you're showing it over 20 or 20 exactly. Okay, let's get you going. Throw you into the mix there. So some fresh blood there trying to go in. Uh, we're almost to the Montenegrin capital at this point, which is great. And we did take Belgrade as well. At the very end of last episode, the very beginning of this episode, that has happened. So let's check on Serbia now and see what is your surrender percentage look like? Montenegro still looking fine. Where are you, Serbia? Ah, uh, there you are. 74% towards capitulation, so that's looking pretty good for us. So while we finished out that Fighter 1 production, I'm going to open up a new Fighter production line like this. I'm actually going to take two factories off of the airship production and throw those into the early Fighter production like that. We do need a new research as well. So we're also working on the uh, close air supports there. If I go back over here now, I could really use some help here with advanced machine tools or advanced hand tools there because I need my factories to start pumping out more stuff, more weapons and such. Okay, still have an infantry level weapons of one there. I think it makes sense to plug a couple of these into uh, the infantry equipment production there just to gear up for start uh, cycling in those new we weapons level twos there. Okay. Um, additionally, wow, we have a very large support equipment need. That is insane to me. So that means all of our support battalions not really working in our favor. Now that we've busted through Belgrade here, I'm hoping that we can uh, break through a little easier, right? <clears throat> Especially since we're on open terrain there. We've made it past the trenches, etc. Showing a green 92 over here now. That's excellent. Bologna, we can actually mount an attack with that cavalry unit there. See if we can't roll in a little bit further. The goal is to surround this little pocket of Italian troops that are sitting here. Meanwhile, up here on the western front, things, I guess, going okay. We have managed to at least stop the bleeding up here in Frankfurt, which is good. And then we could actually run up against this little British invasion that we're seeing up here. And are these... Oh, those are Russian units now guarding that province. The British have pulled back their forces as we continue to drive eastwards here into Russian territory. Yeah, a lot of these Russian units now... <clears throat> Head Jazz has capitulated. That's not good. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of these Russian units are really, really weak. But I can micro some of this, right, and tell these guys to continue their advances as we grab some more of this territory like this. They're going to immediately counter-attack me, which is fine. We're able to stave that off, which is good. I could try to surround these troops and trap them off of, or cut them off of their supply. Yes, just like this. So that's going to at least get rid of, what's that, four, five or so of those divisions. And I can actually now start taking you and rolling up like this. And heading over to, towards these cities that have precious victory points. 
total of 12 victory points that we're seeing over here now. So we're breaking through and breaking out over here on the west, on the eastern front. We got to get rid of this this Russian menace, right? So we can start shifting troops back over towards France and break through, back through Alsace Lorraine. Here we go. So moving him along accordingly like this. Sevastopol also holds 20 victory points, so that's a big, nice and chunky one for us that we could get. So I could use this same unit to go ahead and cap that out. Oh, they do have forces now down here in the south that are coming up to try to defend. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a movement order, something like this, right? Negative. They're, they're trying to... Uh, <laughs> they've discovered my plan. They've, they're now rolling in in droves. Which is fine. Just cool to get a little breakthrough there. Almost reaching the offensive line order now in Italy. Can I micro any of this? We're moving... Oh, we're moving in on Bologna now. Three victory points. Milan holds 15, so that one's going to be huge for us. Wow, uh, they're saying I'm way overmatched here on the Italian border. Which I beg to differ... I'm actually going to take this guy and mount an attack like that. Try to get that little province back. Okay. Nice. We're up to four and a half million men now in manpower. So that was good for us. Austrian HQ here. Ooh. Oppress the minorities. I'm not a big fan of that. National unity plus five percent. But you do get those other bonuses when attacking in poor territory. So we'll do it. Um... Cool, we can fill out the rest of these dockyards now. So showing at 14 there. And then starting to produce out those, finally starting to produce out those fighters now at this point. We've also finished the research on the close air supports there. Uh, let's go with the heavy industry level 2 there at only 148 days. We'll get that going. So I need another boost to my industry as we continue the war here. And now coming up, we have properly encircled... All of these Montenegrin units, they're about to break. A lot of them are about to break. This was unsuccessful. Trying to break through right here. All of those units being redistributed now. Interesting. They're going to try to counterattack back at us. Germans continue to hold this little pocket. Ouch. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck me. Look at all of this. Look at all of this stuff. Central powers are completely surrounded here. This little pocket ended up working out for us, though. Okay, overrun that Serb or that Russian unit there. Very good. So we did take a big chunk of territory away from the Russians in that little move there, which was fantastic. Okay, showing green all the way across the line down here in Serbia now. That's really good. Okay. Moving up. Moving up at where we can. Are we breaking through finally? Sort of. This uh, this guy needs to be taken out like this. Shit. He's not going to have enough support. No. It's actually turning yellow now at this point. Keep going. Okay. All right. They continue to retreat now. So this is good. I do want to cut off this these seven divisions up here and totally steamroll them. So we're finally breaking through down there. It is June of 1915 now at this point. What are we looking like research-wise? Okay, ten more days on the infantry equipment level twos there. Uh, we need to repair this one and put that as a top priority. And then uh, I'm also going to stack up some more build orders here for additional military factories. So send you to the top, top, top. Okay. So that'll be like another four or five of those. Uh, yeah, because I have a ton of civilian factories now that I'm working with. Huh. Let's check the production lines here. Uh, it's almost like I need to open up a new support equipment line. As same with artillery. Oh, God. We're, we're just getting... Uh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Pause, pause. We need to do a massive reorganization. Well, not massive, but... I'm going to close down the air production lines for the moment, right? Oh, jeez. Okay. 
the greatest need by far is the support equipment. So let's get a new support equipment line up and going. I like to keep them together. We'll fill you out with new production there. So that's only going to start at five per week, but we've got to let the efficiency sort of come up, right? And why is there a massive migration of German troops away from the French border, I wonder? That's weird. We do need to attack here where we can. Infantry level two is up and running now. Okay. I'm gonna show us a 94 there, so we're gonna keep it going. Wow, they're they're really shifting everything around, and I'm assuming it's because the British have broken through over here, which is scary. This guy, you're gonna come and join up with the existing fleet like this. So 37 ships now at our disposal. And then inching ever so closer to Milan as well, down here. Keep rolling, boys. Keep rolling. Finally showing a green 95, 96 over here now. I'd be interested to see what my casualties are at this point. We do need to pick a couple of different things, so let's pause it. Okay. We are showing one extra factory. I'll put you there, of course, in the support equipment, right? New research needs to happen now. I'm going to continue working on some of these type upgrades, right? That's a defensive upgrade. That's a breakthrough upgrade with the trench mortar. Want to deliver that to my guys. 503k in overall... Damn. In overall casualties now. That sucks. And the UK has also invaded Ottoman Empire down here. And we've cut Sevastopol off, or at least this little pocket, right? So let's move in forces like this and this. See if we can't surround these three divisions. Very good. Okay, we've got 11 divisions now assigned to this, so let's mount and attack a very... Yeah, here we go. Whoops. They're going to try to counterattack me, of course. We're going to go in like this. Still defending over here on the Western Front. Man, we did not have enough industry to supply our massive number of divisions, right? We're at least showing as a field for the infantry equipment. The support equipment need continues to rise. Along with the early motorized and such. Uh, I hate to pause. So one way you can get around this, right, is to actually put pause on some of the advances and just play defense. I hate to do that because I really want to take out Montenegro and Serbia before we sort of let things repair themselves a little bit here. Throwing the kitchen sink now at this little group. Showing in a green 86 there, 87. It's interesting, right? If we can get rid of these Montenegrin units and make them capitulate, that's going to really help us with Serbia. Alright, massive effort now. Army experience, one infrastructure, one airbase, Austrian HQ. Alright, let's move on to something different over here. This is all political stuff, which we don't need anymore, right? Doctrine effort, that's going to be helpful. We need that. We definitely are going to need that. Air wings with no mission. Okay, this airship here, I'm actually going to remove you like this. And then, what is my other one? Oh yeah, over here. Which we actually never used. Okay, go ahead and bomb those, that strategically for us. We'll actually have you help in the Alpine region there. Which will be good. Made one little advance over here, which is nice. Still playing defense over here now. The front is pretty ridiculous. They have creeped up towards Frankfurt. Mount a counterattack like this as soon as I see it. Go, 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 go. Here is, okay, another free military factory now that we're showing. Constructions wise, still working on some more of these. So, gonna bump up those military factories in priority like this. Perfect. Okay, oh, we got a couple more of those. So, plugging you there into the support equipment production, of course, as they continue to roll up and continue. Oh, we need a little bit of steel as well. Oh, 
Germany no longer able to deliver those to me. So I'll grab some from Spain. That sounds good. Spain sitting over there now. See, like, why can't 13 divisions break through against two Serbian divisions? That's dumb. Like, get it done, man. Let's go. Uh, Nice down here is Serbia's new capital. So getting a lot closer to that, so that's good news. Let's see what uh, Romania is doing, however. They're democratic. They have not joined the Allies or anything like that yet. These nine divisions or so, you guys can head in like this. Okay. Very good. Oh, they have become overrun now. So, for Turquoise Group here, I want to create another little new front line like this. Is that even possible? Well, I tell you what, let's take these nine divisions and throw you into the attack down here. Because they're trying to storm out from the island or the peninsula of Sebastopol there. Which is showing, oh, we've actually gotten around this whole bullshit over here. And continuing to drive into the, the Russian countryside, so I love to see that. Um, still holding tight over here on the Western Front, though. And the Italian Front going nicely, too. I'm liking what I see over here. We do need to... I'm going to actually tell the Italian Front to halt the advance. That's going to help me sort of build up some additional supplies. And then... Hmm... Everybody else down here towards Serbia, this is this is what's really popping off down here. That's really the culprit and the issues. And the bottleneck, right? This is a, just an absolute bottleneck down here. Four of those divisions now joining the fight now over here. Fourteen divisions trying to help out as well. It looks like they're retreating out from under me. That should turn green there pretty nicely and pretty soon. Nice. We did get a little bit of an advance there. Okay. Things working out good down there now. It looks like we're starting to move. And we're actually making good progress down here in the south as well. Hopefully we can get to St. Petersburg. We'll see. So let's check on the French front. Yeah, saying that we're vastly overmatched makes sense. Uh, we have taken back a tiny little itty bitty sliver of territory, which is good. Oh, we're actually hurting right here pretty badly. We're going to lose that battle. We're going to lose this city, actually. Wootenberg is worth five victory points. That's no good. Shit. Okay, the uh, Italian division's now holding off for me, so that's at least 24 divisions that will stop working against my deficits and such here. Serbia has finally capitulated. Good lord. Oh, great news. Okay, so this changes things, right? Let's throw everybody in like this. Finally, Serbia. Find a fucking lead, dude. Damn. What I can do, though, is take, like, uh, Pink Group, for example... Since you aren't needed anymore, I'm going to actually assign you up to the French, the French line here. Okay, so you guys are going to reinforce our buddies. And I need to tell you to go up there, don't I? There we are. 24 new divisions delivered up to the French line there. Which will be helpful. Okay, so they're heading out, taking a little bit of a break. New civilian factories available now plug you again into the support equipment. I've got four new ones as well. We have two over here to the artillery. Another three over here to the motorized. Very good. Alright, I think we're filled out now, which is good. And then waiting on a couple more of this industrial tech to finish out. Oh good, Bulgaria is now an Axis, or excuse me, a Central Powers uh, Power. Central Powers Power. All right, rolling in now. If we can get Montenegro to capitulate this episode as well, that will I will take that as a victory for the time being as we continue to roll through Russia. We've reinforced the French lines up here now. So the Germans take a little bit of pressure off the Germans there. 
anywhere that I can micro up here? Not really. We do. I do see a soft spot, though. Doctrine effort is now done. That's so loud. Uh, this is a little bit of a weak spot here in the center. I wish uh, the Germans would jump on that. So I am going to let uh, some of the supply sort of fill itself out now. Finally, Montenegro capitulates. God. Woo. That was tough. All right. Purple group at 43 divisions. You're actually going to post up here on the Romanian border. I think I'm going to start fabricating claims against them here coming up soon. And then yellow group, you're just going to actually chill for me for a little bit. And you're going to rest and recuperate R&R &R it up. What's this up here? Russian Empire actually controls this little spot there somehow. Still doing good on the Russian front. That is a great, great way to end the episode, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.